NDP Environment Minister Shannon Phillips denies claims that she's an anti-oil activist despite having co-authored a book on activism with Mike Hudima. For those of you that don't know who Mike Hudima is, he currently works for Greenpeace and his main focus is opposing the development of the oil sands and reliance on fossil fuels. So in other words, he's an activist. When we're in a global climate crisis, when over 300,000 people will die this year because of climate change, a million more uh, will become climate refugees. A project like this simply can't go on. Classic climate fear mongering. Spout off a bunch of false talking points and say 300,000 people will die. Isn't it funny how he fails to mention that fossil fuels have saved people from harsh climates? Hudima has participated in and organized many events ranging from opposing the opening of the Cheviot mine in Hinton, Alberta, to protests against Ford and General Motors, to crossing police lines at Parliament Hill with over 200 people to protest pipelines. Hudima also hosts activist training camps that teach climbing and rappelling skills. And Shannon Phillips co-authored a book with this guy. In the foreword, he states, it would not have been possible to put this book together without her. She pushed me to write it, edited my work, and contributed to the content. In fact, she worked for this guy as a researcher at the University of Alberta Students' Union. But she has no problem standing in front of a camera and telling Albertans that she's not an activist. The book in question outlines 52 tried and tested actions, one for every week of the year, including actions against the oil sands and how to set up a blockade. And let's not forget about when she went to BC to campaign for the NDP in 2013, where the campaign message was to oppose Northern Gateway and Trans Mountain Pipelines. And don't forget that Rachel Notley defended her in the legislature when asked about Philip's involvement in the writing of the book. But are we surprised? Rachel Notley is an activist herself, along with several other NDP MLAs. Here's Education Minister David Egan leading an anti-oil sands chant. Balance of mind, balance of body starts by doing the right thing. And I say that doing the right thing means that we have no new approvals for tar sand projects and we start to invest money into a renewable energy and into a sustainable economy. No new approvals. 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 Do the NDP think they're fooling anyone here? Phillips stated that she's not an activist at all and dismissed involvement in the book as something she did in her early 20s. And also suggests that she's never been one for big activism. But Mike Hudima states otherwise, even going as far as saying that Phillips was fully engaged in the fight. Do you believe Shannon Phillips? I sure don't, especially given her history with mega activist Mike Hudima and the activist NDP party members that surround her. And I think Albertans are smarter than she seems to believe, but they keep trying to pull the wool over our eyes and the sentiment being expressed among many is that enough is enough. For the rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas.